Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial request that I got for gradient maps. So what about gradient maps? What can you use them for? They're actually very very useful and they're very easy to use. So I'm going to just go over some simple ways of first creating them then using them. Uh, the way you find gradient maps is going to layer, new adjustment layer, and then go on over to gradient map. Now it's going to ask you to make a new layer, just hit OK. And then it's going to come up with a default one that kind of makes your picture look really ugly, probably. Well, mine is not the best one for default, but it's purple to black. Now, um, first thing I would do is if I wanted to use this color, all I would do is hit reverse. Because reverse just changes the colors out. So then you can kind of choose if you still want to use it. It's, it's really handy, actually, if you don't want to keep making new gradients. Let's say you want a whole new color, um, completely new, a new color. So all you have to do is so, um, click on this little thing right here, this little bar. And it's going to pop up to this window. And you can see all the little gradients that I have have my own little collection. Photoshop erased a bunch of them for no reason so I kind of just update as I go. Now if I select any of these you can see it shows me right away what it will do to the picture. And you can't really press reverse from here but that's okay because all I have to do is just press OK and go back there. So let's say you want to make your own custom gradient. You're going to show up with a bunch of defaults already, so I'm going to select one of these defaults that you will already have on your uh, Photoshop application. So you'll probably end up with something like this. And let's say you want to create something more vintage. You don't want all these colors. All you do is select one of these little tabs, and literally all you have to do is drag it down, and it disappears, and it's gone. And then all you have to do to change the colors is to select the color, select, select the little tab, go to color, and just pick whatever color you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick like a pink, because I'm a girl, right? And then I'm going to select the yellow tab at the very end, and I'm going to pick a nice soft yellow. And I just pressed OK. Now to save this, as you can see, it does not save automatically. You have to press new. And some people save it, but I just literally don't even bother because who's going to, oh, are you going to sit and read them? I don't think so. So let's say you want the transition to be earlier. You want it to turn yellow from all the way up here. All you have to do is drag this little guy all the way back. And as you can see, it will also change the gradient. Or you can change it to have pink all the way down. It just kind of depends what you want. You can also move these tabs depending on what kind of look you're going for. I like to keep them as they are. I like to just have a clean transition. So again, hit new to save. Now let's say you want to add one more color. I'm going to bring this tab up and then all you have to do is just click. I can make like 20 of these. So you just clicked and it appeared and you go to color and you go to let's say white. And just to make a smoother transition I'm gonna bring that up a little. And again saving by pressing new. Now for this picture to begin I'm going to select um, this one because it's again a cleaner transition. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And now as you can see, it's going to show up kind of weird. I'm just going to press reverse and voila, everything's good again. Everything looks normal. So what kind of stuff can you do with this? Obviously you're not going to keep it just like this. First thing you could do is simply lower the opacity, which I mean, may give you a nice effect depending on what picture it is and what colors you're using but I normally don't do this. Let's go on over to first darken. I don't know if you noticed but it, the, that yellow filled in all of the whiter tones for the picture so that's one way of doing it. Another way is going to multiply. I will literally sit and go through each and every layer. I 
here are the layers that I, that I use, honestly. I use Darken, Multiply. I'll use um, Lighten. Most of the time, for these, I'll use Lighten Screen is another one. Um, sometimes I use Soft Light. I will rarely use Overlay because it's too strong for me. And then a really good one is Color. And then you can also, again, I'm just lowering the opacity. And then another one is Hue. And Hue is a really good one because it's very subtle. And it's not going to be as dramatic and obnoxious as color. So let me show you the before and after for this Hue. Now the nice thing about gradient maps is that you can literally live change this with the um, color layer still intact. So I can go and see how every layer will look in color, in that color layer. Actually, this one looks pretty cool. So I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to just lower that just a tad bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and make one more gradient map. And I'm just going to select a kind of vintage, well, I kind of already did. So let's choose, let me make one, actually. I'm going to make a red to like an orange, light orange. And press OK. I can set this to, I'll try soft light. It's a very subtle soft light. I'm sorry, overlay. I think I've been staring at this for too long. <laughs> Try and go all the layers. I don't like this to screen. Help me just change this. So I am simply looking and seeing what each layer does. Oh, that was kind of cool. That was kind of nice. A blue to yellow. So I'm going to keep it how it is and just duplicate it. And then let's see how it looks to overlay. That looks kind of cool. So it's that first layer, that first hue layer that kind of helped out right there. And honestly, I don't do very much more than that using um, gradient maps. I'm going to try to make one more. I just duplicated it and I'm setting it to multiply to see what it kind of does. Let's try to add some more color. Let's see if I reverse it. What I'll do. That looks kind of that looks kind of good, kind of good. Let's see, let's go through each and.